I placed you in a spot where you can understand me okay. We are on the way to the training hill of my paragliding club to finally, after a long time, get some training in. Yeah, there is a few little things that I kind of wanted to talk about while we drive over there. Um, just the uh, things, how they progressed in the year and how they actually should have been progressing and how that really didn't fit together. And it kind of, I mean, it's the same for everyone, right? It's not, not so much that I am a very special snowflake in that kind of way. We all have the problem with COVID this year. But, well, for me, it was it was the fact that I was uh, planning to actually um, have no client over the next half year and um, be road, simply only road tripping over Europe and then see what stems from there and maybe if I get back, get another client, build out a new van. Maybe, maybe not, but very um, purposefully, very purposefully having not anything planned that goes after that because I wanted to see how this, um, yeah, how I come out of that. Um, I do think a little bit it's kind of if you if you commit to something that has a very high risk and you actually start saying no okay I will do that and I want to do that and I'm gonna do that now and then I think it's harder to then step back from that plan as if I, I, I believe that if that plan didn't have that high much high of a risk or didn't have that high of a changing potential of my life in, in, in general. I think I would have been a little bit more calm about the whole fact that everything's changing. But in that kind of regard, it kind of threw me off the race a bit. Um, there were a few other things like um, that I miscalculated my taxes and that I did a few other things wrong, but the, the, the quite the short and simple of it that is that instead of traveling over Europe, I'm now stuck in, in Limburg and camping out in a, in a guest room at my parents' place, which they kindly provided, which is awesome that I can have that place. And yeah, I'm kind of trying to figure out what to do with my time. It's basically the, the most uh, nerve-wracking thing for me is the fact that I'm now having to get my shit back together into a very different kind of ball and play a different game. And I'm trying to figure out what that game is. Um, at the moment it looks like... Well, I tried... In the meantime, I tried to sell the, sell the van, sell the, sell the T5 that I'm driving right now, and with that money built the new um, Sprinter van right in that time, and then take my um, Europe traveling trips um, in next year with the new Sprinter van. And that may still be an option, but uh, I kind of hit a snack with, uh, with selling the van. So maybe try and weigh something else. It, just have to fit it has to fit together everything you know and so I'm kind of a little bit in the limbo right now which puts me off a bit but on the other hand it's okay I have to say that to myself a bit because it really is um, it really is awesome that I can have a base in that very uncertain time and go out and have adventures from that base um, I started a lot of things this year. I started toy dancing, I started doing this YouTube thing, and I'm really um, curious as to how this turns out. It's, I'm, I'm really enjoying doing these videos and um, putting together little stories for you guys. And so we just have to see how things develop from there. The general idea is still to kind of um, get the things together that I need to build a new van this year and then um, start going 
really on the road again next year um, with directly with the new Sprinter van and from there I don't know from there the world's my oyster we see hey guys we are here Beautiful weather, there's two other peoples on the hill. Let me show you around and then we get to train a bit. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. We waited around for the wind to come and it didn't. At least not while I was having the camera on. Um, it got a little bit better later on. I was in the air for like 10 minutes or so. But it was nice to get the wing out again and it was nice to... It's nice to just be here. It's a nice evening. A wonderful light. And I'm gonna make dinner now and enjoy the evening. Come along if you want. Is this where I belong, you know? Out. Every time I'm at places like this, making dinner outdoors or in the van, it calms me down 
like nothing else. It's it's mesmerizing. And there are so many places like this. Places that are really awesome. Like this one. And I want to know them all. Maybe not all of them, but yeah, I want to explore them. I want to. It's one of the reasons why this whole covered thing hit me as hard as I think hit me as hard as it did. Because I was so ready and prepared to. I was so ready and prepared just to get all over Europe and discover things like this, places like this, evenings like this, the calm and quiet. It's just awesome. an angel last night. It's so good to be outside again. I'm gonna make some tea now and then I think I'm gonna leave here. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this. I had a blast making it and uh, if you like it I would appreciate if you left a like. Uh, well, it's also, I see you guys next week. Goodbye. Of course you know it's only tea, because I forgot my coffee maker. <laughs> I'm not currently living in here, so I brought all the necessities quickly and I uh, couldn't find the coffee machine. So tea it is. <laughs>